Hello YouTube and welcome to this next episode of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be fitting a bonded window into the sliding door of my VW T5. I'm just filming this intro indoors because it's extremely windy today so if I try and film anything outdoors today it's just going to be wind noise. So here's the kit. I've got a full bonded tinted window. I've also got the full tin uh, fitting kit as well with the full adhesive, the primer, uh, surface wipes, this, that, the other. So it's going to be pretty straightforward to get it all fitted and installed. The only issue I do have is I've already got a small little window fitted in my sliding door at the moment, but looking at it, I'm just not too happy with it, so I've gone for a full size, full bonded window instead. So I'm going to be cutting the old window out as well as the full panel. I'm going to be using a hole saw and a jigsaw for pretty much the vast majority of all the cutting. Then we'll be able to get the surface fully adhered for the adhesive and get the window in secured. And hopefully within the next hour or two we'll be able to have a fully bonded window fitted into the sliding door. So I'll get my gear on, get outside in the wind and we'll get cracked on. So the easiest way to create a template for the window cut is to basically use the inner skin of the metalwork. Now with this supporting bar in the middle, I'm just going to cut a little slice at the top and the bottom just to be able to take a little slice out and that just means that then when the jigsaw is in it's not going to be having to cut through two layers of metal. There are different tools out there that would be able to do so but as I say, I'm not going to start pushing the jigsaw beyond what it's designed to do which is just one sheet at a time basically. So for the corners it's always best to try and use some hole saws. I've got a nice selection here and obviously the bigger the hole saw the better curve you'll be able to, natural curve on the corner you'll be able to get. If you're using a smaller hole saw it's just going to create a smaller circle and obviously then it might not be able to stretch all the way around the full corner. You can still tidy it up in later trimming but just using a larger hole saw itself should be able to actually manage to get the full curve in one go. Use that in all four corners all the way around. Then we'll be able to do two cuts, one of the inner just where the hole is going to be a couple of centimetres above the top line we'll be able to get the main panel out then and then we'll be able to do a final nice neat trim once the main panel is out and we've got better access along the bottom line where it's pretty much flush with the inside of the inner skin so as I say I'll just get this hole saw out put a few uh, holes in each corner and then we'll be able to do the first trim So you can see there, just by using the larger hole saw, the actual curvature of the inner skin is pretty much matched up perfectly with the uh, circumference of the actual uh, hole saw as well. So it's just three more to go. So now we've got our four holes drilled, it's now time to take little slips out of this structural supporting bar and then we'll be able to do some straight cuts all the way around. Ideally if you can get hold of a really long straight rule, something like that, full metre length one, then you'll be able to go straight from the top to the top all the way around and because the hole saw has pretty much got in line with the inner skin as well, as you can see there, all the way around then we should be able to get pretty much edge to edge cuts in one. Now if you wanted to be extra certain, extra sure, you could do an inner cut going from pretty much the middle of the hole all the way around. That will get rid of the main frame and then you can start cutting it from the other side as well. We'll see how we get on but uh, I'd say those are pretty much the two options. So now it's just a case of taking little slits out of these and then we'll get the jigsaw out.
So there's the holes drilled. I've marked out all the way around. It's all looking square. I've got the old window out as well. And I've just ran some masking tape along the bottom because I don't want the jigsaw uh, scraping along the bottom because this is just a brand new respray, as you might be able to see. It's all nice and sparkly. So I don't want any sort of uh, scratches to the new paintwork. So if you're concerned about your paintwork, bank some masking tape down. It takes a second and it's just going to protect it for the long term. Everywhere else going around is going to be getting covered with the bonding. So that's not as important. It's pretty much anywhere that the jigsaw is going to be catching possibly around that corner that might need a little bit as well but other than that it should be pretty much okay to go ahead I say if you wanted to take it a bit slower and steadier you could have drawn an inside uh, frame going round cut that out and then you can fine trim it a bit more but because I've already got a hole going all the way through it already I can pretty much just crack on and go straight with the uh, the main cut so jigsaw's out that's got a fine metal cutting blade on that as well so here we go So there's the hole all cut and all of the bare exposed metal work so the quick sand back and I've just gave it a run round with the primer that comes with the fitting kit as well. So we're getting there, now it's just a case of giving a good wipe around the outside of the frame and then it's going to be rolling around more of the primer on here and then again on the actual glass itself as well. Then it'll be a case of bonding it in. First off though I do have a bit of trim that I got from a local automotive suppliers it's not a specific window trim, but it looked pretty similar anyway, so I'm going to fit that on and see what it looks like. And if it's no good, I can always fit the proper one later on. But as I've already got that one, I'll give it a go because it looks very, very similar to what's advertised as the window trim anyway. So I'll run that all the way around. If I like the look of that, and that's it. I'll crack on, get the rest of the primer, get the bonder on, and we'll get the window on. Right, so that's all the primer on the window, the primer on the door, the seal's in. Now it's just a case of running a nice chunky seal of the actual glazing adhesive in. And you want to be leaving pretty much a peak as high as the actual cone on the, the cutout. And so it wants to be a really nice chunky bead on this all the way around. Now we'll get the window in and that should be pretty much job done. And there we go, there's the window in and fitted. I've just left some masking tape along the top just because it's only just been bonded in and all of the actual manufacturers do recommend just using masking tape just to hold it in place, just to be sure that it doesn't slip even though the actual bonding agent does have a really good, pretty much instant grab to it anyway. This is just more safe than sorry, more than anything else. But that's the window pretty much fitted in. 
I'll pick it up just uh, later on when I've had a chance to tr uh, trim the inside because it was previously carpeted for the previous window so I'm going to have to get some spray adhesive out and redo possibly some of the carpet on the inside so I'll pick it up after that's done but that is the actual window fitted itself and I'll put a link in the description for the window for the fitting kit this that the other so everything I've used here I'll put a link in the description of the video as well so have a look at the links and I say give the video a thumbs up and I'll pick it up in a second when it's fully fully complete and there we go, I've left the bonding agent just to cure up overnight and in the meantime I've fully recarpeted the inside of the door as well I'll show you that in a second I haven't covered the carpet though because I've already got three or four different videos showing carpeting of sliding doors, of metalwork, this that the other so I'll put a link in one of the cards up at the top for the carpeting sliding door videos if you want to have a look at those but as you can see it's made a hell of a difference fitting this window compared to the daft little uh, caravan window that I previously had fitted certainly opens up the inside gives a lot more light straight in as well as you can see it's a, a nice neat uh, fitting and finish i think anyway especially for this was the first time i fitted a bonded window i say it's gone in no problems at all and we've also had a good downpour as you can see by the wet on the uh, ground and there's been absolutely no leaks inside which is what i want to see I shut it up you can see there's the rubber seal going all the way around that gives a nice, nice neat trim finish over all the cut metal work and then as you can see it's all been recarpeted as well because I'd previously carpeted for the little window that was there so all the carpeting that I had on the metal work wasn't long enough to then cover all of the bare exposed metal work that fit in this new window had exposed so it was around about another half hour an hour or so just to fully retrim all the way around the window and as you can see that's looking quite nice and neat and trim as well so I'm quite happy with that how that's turned out and you can just see just by sitting back it's opened up a lot more viewing space it's going to allow a lot more light in as well and that was the main reason for fitting it as I said the little window did its job but it just didn't really let enough light in for my liking so as I say I'll put a link in the description of the video below for the window that I've fitted here the bonding kit uh, everything that I've used I'll put links in the description below so if you're looking to fit a similar sort of window check the links out you'll be able to get the same window same bonding kit I'll even put a link to the proper official seal so you can buy all of that online and as you say it's uh, just totally transformed the interior of the van obviously it's not going anywhere where the window uh, doors open and shutting as well so it's a nice neat trim finish I'm quite happy with how it's turned out so if you found this video useful give it a good old thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and have a look at my channel every single job of this van has been documented job by job on my channel as well as five previous other conversions and i'm also documenting this mercedes minibus as well so have a look at my channel loads of content already give this video a thumbs up and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode of my series thanks for watching cheers